Stan, here we are in the kitchen on a Wednesday afternoon. Top YouTuber and military collector extraordinaire, the old mate CJ, military collectibles, uh, messaged me the other day and said, um, I'm having a bit of a clear out, so I'll fling some bits, some odds and sods uh, your way. So nice one CJ, you are a top fellow. Uh, I'm always grateful for stuff that he sends me over and it always, always finds a home in my collection. Now he did he did message me and say there's a couple of uh, items in here. Well, I'll, I'll read out what I think and I'll, I'll open them first. Because I want to make sure, because there's some Repro awards in here, I think. And I, 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 awards aren't my thing, as in like I don't know what they are really, Repro or otherwise. Show me ignorance, but um, you know. So here we go, unboxing time. Just hope my wife doesn't burst in. She's finished talking on the phone. Military content going on here. There you go. Wrapped very well, as always. All the way from the other side of the country. Obviously, took me a dress off the top. One of these cats has just come in, but they won't be out yet. I've shut the door. Right, here we go. Hang on, two minutes. As predicted, the cat wanted to be out. So, we'll just dive in first. We'll see what I've got hold of first. Instructions for American Servicemen in Britain, 1942. So, a reprint, repro manual. I think I've seen something. Wasn't there a... Like a little bit of film footage. Uh, British are tough. Don't show off with the actor Burgess Meredith showing you how to behave in public in Britain. It would be a lot different now if it was 2023. But thanks, that's a nice nice item. I'll flick through it. I'll, I'll try and do individual reviews for all these things. As, as most of you know, I've deleted most of my channels. I'll have to start all over again, probably. Instructions for British servicemen in France. So this would be interesting because, uh, you know, I often do think a lot of the behaviour, like it always seems to be women, Ooh. French women, both young and old, are far from shy and you will, if you are a man of sense, make them your friends, but don't mistake friendship for the willingness to give you their favours. Yeah, you always think of the Americans coming over and being like sort of brash and you don't probably, I didn't give much thought to um, how the, how the, the British were received it in France, you know. So there you go. Uh, I'll go through the. Oh, this is the one. Here's the one. Here's the one. Looks good. Home guard manual. Oh, very nice. Thompson submachine gun, huh? Lewis gun. Try buying one of them deactivated. I think they're about six grand. I shouldn't say how much they cost on there. Brand light machine gun. That goes nice because that's got. I've got one. Uh, is that a Mark One? I think it's a Mark One, isn't it? I think. Can't see through the camera. Interesting how they show how they show the home guard. It does say home guard manual and they're dressed in sort of World War One, you know, with the, the the long putties. Seems to be long putties to me. Maybe that was something of a, like a re and and Lienfield rifles. More of a maybe that was a reprint of the drawn, if you know what I mean, from the First World War. Just give you an, an ideal way to. Cause they, these will have been soldiers' manuals, obviously. The Enfield, which I've got one of those, SMLE. That's interesting, that, to see. I mean, I, I have taken my deactivated one apart and, and cleaned it down. I remember this sort of thing from the army kits, to be fair. Uh, you know, like, if you're in the middle of the field, don't hide behind the bush, it's right in the middle of the field, sort of thing, because it's the obvious target. That's a, another good one, that. Could go nice in a home guard display. Oop. Look. Infantry training, volume one. Infantry platoon weapons, pamphlet for number four rifle, bayonet nineteen fifty five. I have a feeling this might be an original one. Just it's lost its cover. Oh, there's the uh, number five rifle, jungle carbine. I do like these. I do like these sort of things. I mean, they, they're nice to look at on your display shelf and have a flick through, look at the photographs. 
the butt stroke. That cat is doing my head in again. You can't shut the door in this house. I don't know if you can hear it. Number four, the Enfield rifle. And it, it shows you how the um, post war. Oh, let's open the door. Jesus. Here, get in. It shows you how the post war um, soldier. I've got two minutes. Back in the room, cats and wives at the same time. So, I, I do. I, I have a soft spot for um, forty-nine pattern battle dress. I do like it. I've got a three, I think. I do like it. The infield. Now, so th there you go. You see, even though I did have some sort of training with this this very setup in the army cadets, I can't remember doing that sort of thing. I mean, probably I don't know whether. Anyone else who was in the army cadets around that time, the eighties, whether they give you for live firing. I can't remember if it was one round at a time at the at the ranges. Um, but uh, blanks was certainly uh, full clip, and I don't know if we loaded them ourselves. I can't honestly remember if anyone has any thoughts on that. Spike bayonet for the number four rifle, very good, very interesting. This one, Fieldcraft. All arms. So this will be like like I said before about um, where to sit. Where to go. Method of indication. Yeah, that's the same as the other one, isn't it? Um, might be a reprint. This it's obviously been scribbled out of. There you go. That's exactly what I said, didn't I? Here, not here, because that's like isolated. Not here, here, you're in the middle. Something like that. I was sort of right now. I just remember it. We used to have little notepads. Don't be don't hide behind obvious uh, cover or something like that way. Yeah, there's the, there's the piece of like avoid isolated cover, that's what I meant. I sort of knew what I was talking about. But uh, then you you know you know still on the stand. I never know what I'm talking about, do I? So oh, get this one out. This would be interesting. Um, drill all arms because again, I did. Uh, I did drill with rifle uh, number four, Lanefield, um, and I cannot remember how to do it. But in saying that, I do I do remember. These in the in the mists of time. Um, pistol drill. That'd be interesting. I do remember sentry drill in the mists of time. That when I was on camp um, with the army cadets in do, 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 do Great Yarmouth, we went down there for a couple of weeks in the summer of eighty three. I can't remember if the one the the weapon we had. Um, that we used for firing. I think we were. Fi can't remember if we just fired blanks on that on that um, jaunt. Standard ease, nice old rifle. But um, I remember definitely having a rifle that was dated 1936, 1935. So I, I presume that must have been a slope arms. That must have been a SMLE, because it can't be a number four, or can it? But there you go. What else in here? Right, we've got, we've got, I think, a little note in the bottom. I'll have a, I'll have the note out and see if it's anything. Uh, right, okay, yeah. Hi, Stan. A few re, uh, reprint books, some Bren mags. Some repo World War II German badges. Top fella, CJ, top fella. So we'll, uh, we'll uh, just... Now, he did say, he did say, actually, I have to be careful with him in the kitchen. So if my wife comes in here and I get gunk all over everything, she will not be happy at all. So I'll have to have an inspection first to make sure they are not too gunky. Aha! They're a bit slimy, a bit, bit slippery. It is, they are, they have got Cosmoline on them. He did say they did have, because he found them uh, in a, a lot he bought it years ago. So I'm going to have to clean that off. 
So I apologise, CJ, for not getting them out and showing them now before I clean them because uh, she'll string me up if she comes to the kitchen and finds this. Or on the worktop. <laughs> but like, yeah, I think he said paraffin. Wood paint stripper. Wood paint stripper. Take the paint off it. You know, not the uh, paint stripper. Not paint stripper. Stand you half wit. Thinners. Thinners might be all right, mate. Anyone got any ideas? But yeah, we'll take the Cosmoline off. And they are very well well preserved. So obviously they'll be they'll have been on a shoe. I'll just put them up here out the way. That's a job for the weekend. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know if there'll be any videos this weekend because uh, Mrs. Stan's got me. She's off. Right, so be careful not to thingy the um, the packaging. Now I'm going to have to do. A, I've got a couple of repro awards now, and I'm going to have to set up a proper display with an edge of a, edge of a frame or something like that. I'm trying to be ca careful. It's very hard to do. As you know, because you've got a pair of scissors. So, now, first off, let's have a look. He did say to me, on the thing, let's have a readout. Drink the tea first. We don't have DDR tea. Let's go, mate. Uh, he did say that the the... the the repro awards are the unobtainable Luftwaffe Panzer Panzer Award Paratrooper Infantry Assault in Bronze and Silver with their packets. So I will do individual award uh, reviews on these. But see, this is, is that that's nice. That and the thing is, I mean, it looks like it's got age to it as well. I mean, a someone who's really up on this sort of thing will be able to tell. I mean. Probably, yeah, I can see. Probably because he's telling me to repro. I know it's a repro. I mean, maybe the swastika had a little bit out of it. I don't know. But that is a nice, nice award, that. And that will go on display in the German section. Down. So that is... Parach that's the Paratrooper Award, yeah. Oh, is that the Luftwaffe Panzer one? Or the two are two the same or two are slightly different? So, yeah, the Luf um, German awards are not, not my... I don't have any um, sort of... Uh, knowledge in that department they're very nice yeah very nice indeed some more bits in here another one now is that is that a Luftwaffe one I'm not sure I'm not sure now I'm getting all confused my little self you get a very a very nice item that will find a home in my display Repro shelf fillers, there you go. He's already written on there what they are. Aha. Aha. That's that. Ah, right, so. Infantry assault. In a, a reproduction package. Yeah, that's quite nice, that. I mean, I have a... I think I got one. Did I get one of... Uh, on Epic Military, I can't remember, but I only have I do have one. Uh, might be in Epic somewhere like that. But now when I do my uh, mannequin the East German border guard at the minute, I can turn him into a POA uh, soldier again and whack one of these on him. And I have really actually made the mistake of and it wasn't until I saw one of CJ's videos when he said about the uniform belongs to the army. So you can't like uh I better hurry up because I think I think I'm going to 